What the UAB Visual Arts Gallery is undertaking at the moment is a project to digitize its entire collection. This provides an opportunity for us to generate a reproduction quality image which documents every single piece we own. Right now the university owns approximately a thousand pieces and when we search our database we presently can't pull up a good quality image to see what that work is. We have to go into our resource room and actually pull the work and that's very much a challenge. When you document a work, there are a number of things you're looking at in terms of understanding what it is and your motivation for doing so. So for example, this work is a black and white print. When I look at it, I can tell a number of things which are all useful information to me. I know, for example, that it came into the collection in 1983. It has what we term an accession number, 1983.03. This was the third work we acquired during that year. This work is also not signed by the artist, so we would have to refer to the acquisition file to see if we can learn some more information. This work is entitled Gin Lane. It is by William Hogarth, and it's perhaps one of the most significant works on paper in the University of Alabama at Birmingham's collection. One of the things we see about Gin Lane is that it has incredibly fine detail. This type of work is called an engraving. The image is made by carving an actual picture into a steel plate, inking the plate and then running it through a press. One of the things we can see when we look at this work is that there's actually an indentation that runs along the entire side of the paper. That indentation is called a plate mark and it tells us because of the pressure of the plate on the paper that this work was run through a press. This is a major initiative for UAB and a responsibility that we feel we should undertake as a gallery so we can provide a better resource to the community and they can have better access to our works of art.